Good morning, boys and girls. Happy Friday. It's Mrs. Williams, your principal, and today is Friday, April 24th, 2020. Let's please start our day by standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good job, boys and girls. So today is Friday, and our grateful, our gratitude quote for today actually comes from Mr. Rogers. I don't know if um, the young boys and girls remember Mr. Rogers, but he was a very nice man that made some uh, TV shows for children when I was growing up. And as a matter of fact, when I'm doing these videos, I almost feel like Mr. Rogers to a certain extent. So his quote that he said, says, anyone who does anything to help a child in their life is a hero to me. So boys and girls, I want you to think of all the heroes in your life. Any adult that's done anything to help you as a child and adults who are listening to this video, if you've done something to help a child, then you're a hero. And I just wanna show my gratitude and my thankfulness for all the heroes out there in, in, the, um, in our community and in the world that are doing things each and every day to help children. Uh, you know who you are, your moms, your dads, your aunts and uncles, grandparents, your teachers, your teaching assistants, everybody who works at the schools, the doctors, the nurses, the firefighters, the police officers, it, the list is endless. So today, boys and girls, I want you to think of all the heroes in your life that are doing things to help you each and every day. And that's a quote from Mr. Rogers. Um, and also, I want to remind our parents out there, I don't know if you saw the email that went out from the district yesterday, we are having some parent universities. So moms and dads that are having some difficulty or guardians who are having some difficulty with Google Classroom, or if you just want to learn more about how Google Classroom works, please check your email. There's, um, I'm also going to put a link in my email today for information about that, but the district sent out an email yesterday about Google Classroom Parent University next week and there's different um, groups for each day and there's different times. You just sign up for one um, if you'd like to and they will be recorded. If you can't make it, then you can just watch the recording which will be posted to our website. At this time, I'll read M is for Majestic and we're up to letter L. <clears throat> oh, those look interesting. The fishing is fine in Lake Clark National Park and Preserve in Alaska and not just for those with a rod and reel. Every June, when millions of sockeye salmon fill the rivers, Alaskan brown bears catch their limit. The salmon are making, oops, I missed, the salmon are making their way upstream against the rapids and waterfalls to lay their eggs in the shallow streams around Lake Clark. At times, so many salmon fill the rivers, the water looks red. Lassen Volcanic National Park in California is place of boiling mud, steam, and sulfur. Lassen Peak is quiet now, but was the site of a mighty eruption in 1915. And boys and girls, here's a, um, a drawing, a picture of Lassen Peak, Lassen Volcanic, Volcanic National Park in California. And here are some sockeye salmon in Alaska. L is for Lake Clark as lovely as a dream, with rivers running red when the salmon swim upstream. Salmon are very interesting fish. They're also delicious for those of you that enjoy to eat salmon. Um, so we have some ce celebrations for today from the calendar, which I put a link in our email also if you'd like to know more information about national days of celebration. So today is Arbor Day. Arbor Day started in 1872, so that's a really long time ago. It encourages us to celebrate and plant trees. Now, if it wasn't raining out right now, I would have been videotaping outside in the trees because I love trees. So today, please celebrate Arbor Day by enjoying the trees around your house. Um, if you get a chance, you can plant a tree sometime soon or at least take notice of all the beautiful trees that provide us with a lot of shelter and oxygen and homes for the animals. They're very important for our environment. Today is also teach children to save. So boys and girls, I hope that you're learning how to save money that you earn. You can spend some, but you should also save some. This day started in 1997 
And it helps us learn how to keep a savings plan and it helps us learn money management. So those of you that have piggy banks or have your own bank accounts, you're already learning to save. You also can, um, parents can show you the cost of things. So I'm sure some of you, when you go shopping, I hope that you're actually looking at the cost of items that you want and items that you need and seeing if you have enough money to buy them. So if there's something that you really, really want, I hope you save your money so you have enough to buy it. And also it's important to know a need from a want. There are things that we need and then there's things that we want. We might think we need them, but we don't. So that's teach children to save. Today is also National Pigs in a Blanket Day. If you've never had a pig in a blanket, it's a sausage or a hot dog that could be wrapped in either a biscuit or a croissant. They're quite tasty. So if you have any pigs in the blanket, pull them out, enjoy them today is that day. And they've been making pigs in a blanket recipes since 1957 and since yesterday we were talking about dogs, I think it was yesterday, it might have been the day before, today we're gonna to talk about cats. It's National Hairball Awareness Day. So if you have a cat in your house, me, I don't, I'm, I'm more of a dog person, you wanna make sure that you're taking care of your cat, you groom them regular, regularly, and there's also products out there that will help them from getting hairballs, because hairballs aren't always dangerous, but they can be dangerous for your cat. So please take aware of that. So happy Arbor Day, happy Teach Children to Save Day, happy Pigs in a Blanket Day, and I don't know if this is happy or not, but Hairball Awareness Day is also important. And on that note, we will sign off from Archer. He just laid down, I swear, I promise, he wasn't laying there the whole time, he was walking around. Say hello to the boys and girls. Oh, Pip and Squeak, Squeak is in Pip's house. I could tell that's Squeak because he has black fur and see how they share and pip is in squeak's house so they're sharing their homes isn't that nice so boys and girls i hope you enjoy your friday and i hope you have a lovely weekend and i'll see you on monday bye